Hanson Conant. I play the harp, and I am just about to do a free training for harpists or other people who want to crash the harp event with whatever instrument you want. I'm doing a free event called How to Make Holiday Harp Cards. It's all about how to make, how to use your harp, your creativity to reach out one on one to people. And it's just about to happen. Uh, it's a very simple thing to do. It's something that I've been doing sort of my whole life, um, which is combining a message with music. Now that's kind of my thing, combining messages with music, Hello, stories with music, um, text with music. This is a particular way of combining very simply, and I'm gonna show you literally a recipe for how to do this so that you can send out holiday greeting cards to all your friends. Now, I'm gonna do it with harp, but I'm gonna run upstairs and grab my ukulele so I can show you guys how to do it with any instrument. On a harp, um, you really just, I, we're literally going to go through the script of like turning on the camera, making an intro, speaking to the person that you love, getting comfortable with that, making that connection, and then coming back. And I'm giving you some very simple songs like... Um you know, some, some really simple holiday song or... So it's just so that you can really just make that greeting because it's all about connecting. You know, my thing is connection, not perfection. As much connection as we can make. So in the post for this live video, I put a link to where you can sign up. Um, and just, just go there, sign up. Um, you'll get right into the room where you'll have a link straight to the Zoom room. You'll also be able to download the handout. You'll be able to get access to the replay there. So just join now whenever you're getting this. I'm um, posting this right now, just about 10 minutes before we start, and then I'm gonna jump into the room. But you can come in at any time. Um, and again, what we're doing is a video greeting card, a special holiday greeting card. And one of the things that I really, really love about these is not only is it simple, it's not about, oh, I've got to learn this piece, or uh, here, I'm a really good uh, musician, or I've been playing for 40 years, or I've only been playing for this. It doesn't matter. It's all about finding something simple and easy and making that connection. So for example, I turn on my video, I see you on the screen, and I say, Auntie Elaine, I love you so much, and I want to share just a little song with you from my harp to your heart this holiday season. This is for you. And it's for you for all those years that you made wonderful holidays and that your voice has been a part of my holiday. This is a celebration of that. a big ending for you. This is how much I love you. And then I turned it off. <laughs> so we will be going through that. Mm, something. We will be going through that over and over again so that you get that, so that you get comfortable with it. There's nothing complicated about it. But when we go to share love with people, we often get tongue-tied. <laughs> we don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. And what the holiday greeting card does, first of all, you don't have to go buy holiday cards. You don't have to worry about the supply chain. You don't have to worry about inflation. You don't have to worry about whether it's going to get there in time. You actually make it. It's from your heart to the person that you love. You get to create this thing. The more of them that you create, the more comfortable you get with creativity. So it's a beautiful gift to yourself and also to the people that you're giving to. This is a free workshop. I just want everybody to do this because I I just I I just think it's such a beautiful beautiful way to share the resonance of love and the resonance of the season resonance, the resonance of love and the resonance of the season and it doesn't have to be for somebody that you know. 
there may be people in your life you don't know that well, but you know that they're lonely and a beautiful message would mean so much to them, a message from you. One of the reasons that I love this is that it takes us away from worrying about the instrument as a way of achieving and a, the worrying of the, uh, the instrument as a way of proving ourselves or do we look good enough or do we play good enough or who's listening to us? This is about love. This is about using what we have. If we have one finger on one hand, we can do this because it's about connecting. I'm gonna do it with one finger on one hand. I can say, well, I'm gonna turn it on with this finger and then I'm gonna say, Joey, you have been an important part of my life, my whole life. And I'm gonna take this one finger and I am going to play as much as I can for you. This is my holiday song. I play my holiday song for you. That's doing it with one finger. It's just, to, and I'm all just doing that because it's about love. It's not about how many fingers you're playing with. And it's not about how well you can play. It's about love. It's about taking what you do have and being willing to be vulnerable and being willing to be expressive and being willing to use what you have and embrace who you are and share that with somebody else. And that is the most powerful performance that you can ever give and that you can ever give yourself because the more you connect with that intention of reaching a single person, of reaching out with what you have musically to a single person, the deeper and more resonant you are, the more creative resonance you have. So, it's just about to start. I'm going to run over there right now. I'm going to get my ukulele and then come down. Go ahead and check the link in the post here. And I hope I see you. If, you, if you're just listening to this and there's no post, go to hipharp.com. That's hip as in cool, harp as in the instrument. Go to the blog, look for where it says make holiday cards, and then join me. And I hope